bountiful lakes, oak trees draped in Spanish moss, small businesses housed in stately historic buildings. Hi everyone, I'm Chad. Welcome to the channel where you'll find travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. Today, I'm taking you to a region of Central Florida known as the Golden Triangle, made up of three charming towns in Lake County, Tavares, Eustis, and Mount Dora. The Golden Triangle is named after the triangular shape formed by connecting these towns on a map. Each town has its own unique history, culture, and attractions, and together they offer a variety of experiences for visitors. Let's start with Tavares, the county seat and the self-proclaimed seaplane capital of America. Tavares is located on the shores of Lake Dora, one of the largest lakes in Florida. The town has a vibrant waterfront district that features restaurants, shops, parks, and a seaplane base. If you're looking for adventure, you can hop on a seaplane ride with Jones Brothers Seaplane Adventures. Around since 2010, this company offers scenic tours over the lakes and wetlands of central Florida. Their quickest tour starts just under $100. There are a number of tour options to choose from to fit almost any budget. Visit the Jones Brothers website to book a tour. Downtown is home to several eateries serving up Irish and Latin fare. There's also seafood restaurants and local favorites like Puddle Jumpers overlooking the water. BTW, which emphasizes burgers, tacos, and waffles in a casual rustic atmosphere, also a good choice. If you enjoy your cup of joe with a little bit of escapism, you've got to try this area's hottest coffee shop. It takes its name from the submarine in 20,000 leagues under the sea, and the shop on West Ruby Street is a truly immersive experience with nautical theming throughout. They hand make all of their drinks ranging from hot and iced coffees to teas and their own energy soda with tropical elixirs. Non-dairy and sugar-free options are available and every month they have a special menu with different flavor combinations you can order from. Located on State Road 19 adjacent to Lake Harris and Little Lake Harris, Hickory Point Recreation Park spans just under 70 acres and offers a variety of recreational activities for visitors of all ages. Features include everything from volleyball courts, a swimming beach, and a fishing pier to a nature trail and boardwalk, as well as a large screened pavilion that can be reserved for special events. Hickory Point is free to visit and open daily. Next up is Eustis, the oldest town in the Golden Triangle. Eustis was founded in 1876 and named after Colonel Abraham Eustis, a prominent figure in the Second Seminole War. The town has a rich history that can be seen in its historic downtown district. Buildings from the late 19th and early 20th centuries house a variety of places to grab a bite to eat, pick up a coffee, or do some shopping. A staple in town for more than three decades is the Peddler's Wagon, a home decor and gift shop. This family-owned business has a large selection of home accent pieces and holiday accessories. You'll find unique gifts for every season in this whimsical show place. 
Historic Farron Park is a popular spot to relax downtown with a beautiful seawall, bandshell, playground, and gazebo. The Eustace Lake Walk is a great way to enjoy stunning views of the water and maybe take in the sunset. Good local hangouts near the park for a slice of pizza or a frosty adult beverage. For nature lovers, Eustace has Trout Lake Nature Center, a preserve covering more than 200 acres. Visitors can enjoy walking the trails, seeing the exhibits, and learning about the natural history of Central Florida. The Nature Center also offers programs and events for students, families, and the community. This is a great affordable option for families looking to spend a little time in nature. I'm now in Mount Dora. This popular destination is the third town completing the Golden Triangle. Mount Dora is known for its quaint atmosphere, artistic flair, and annual festivals. The town has a reputation as an antique lover's paradise, with dozens of shops and galleries that showcase local and international arts and crafts. One of the most impressive places to visit is the Modernism Museum which showcases the work of the American studio movement, a form of modernism where high art meets craftsmanship. On exhibition is the creativity of the Memphis Group, a radical design collective that emerged in the 1980s. Over 70 objects on display, many from the personal collection of late rock icon David Bowie. The museum has limited hours, but is a must-see when you're here. For foodies, Mount Dora has plenty of options to satisfy your cravings. One of them is the Salted Fry, a gluten-free eatery that offers a variety of delicious options without sacrificing taste. You can enjoy their signature pommes frites, Belgian-style fries that are crispy on the outside and soft in the middle, with a choice of savory sauces. You can also try their sandwiches made with gluten-free bread and high-quality meats from Boar's Head. The Salted Fry also has a self-serve wine station, gluten-free beers, organic wines, wine slushes, and kombucha. Dating back to the 1880s, the Lakeside Inn is the oldest continuously operating hotel in the state of Florida. Overlooking beautiful Lake Dora, the Inn has more than 80 rooms and suites, each with its own unique charm and character. Also on property, a restaurant, tavern, pool, and a gift shop. Average price for a room is between $129 and $249 per night. However, this may vary depending on the season and demand. You can check current rates and availability at their website. The Dora Canal is a mile-long waterway connecting Lake Dora and Lake Eustace. The canal was originally called the Elfin River, but was widened and deepened in the early 1880s to allow steamboats to travel between the lakes. Today, visitors can see this gorgeous waterway firsthand by booking a tour with a local pontoon boat company. There are two main options, Premier Boat Tours and Rusty Anchor Mount Dora. Both have certified captains and crew that will guide you through the canal's scenic beauty, which has been described as the most beautiful mile of water in the world. They offer daily two-hour tours for 35 bucks per person, as well as specialty tours, which can cost more or less depending on what you pick. Both companies operate from docks behind the Lakeside Inn, you can find links for booking on my website.
That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Golden Triangle of Central Florida and got inspired to visit these amazing towns. They're definitely worth checking out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you out there gallivanting.